I'm a black and brown, college bound, difference maker. One of the most disappearing acts in higher education is minority males. We got to convince the convincers to convince our kids that they are worthy of going to college. I've never gone into a fifth grade class and asked, what do you want to do in life? And someone says to me that I want to be incarcerated. <laughs> never. So not all the kids are going to get the same chances that my kids may get. But we have a moral obligation to try. I think the importance of the event is to bring together great minds from throughout the nation. Sometimes we need a hundred black men. I've come here for the last three years. Sometimes we need 100 hombres latinos. It's been great. Because our parents sometimes cannot give us what they do not have. You see brand new faces and you see a larger crowd of people coming in. You don't do positive, you won't get positive results. The biggest problem is peer pressure. Most of the students, they would like to further education, but their peers is not doing that. Their peers have dropped out. Their peers are getting suspended in school. Kick it doesn't manage his life. Swag doesn't manage his life. Student manages his life, and now he can travel all over the world, be 15 years old, with two software companies with deals in Japan because of his love for education. We are teaching the young men that there are ways that you can make it. There are fewer young people being educated in four-year colleges. There are more young people growing up in poverty. The criminal justice system has replaced the factory system. It just helped me just get more enthusiastic about being educated. I've found a way to ascend to an executive vice president position at a major record label. We have a record executive who worked with rap music and after he finished he was like a rap star. They come from Minnesota, they've come from Pennsylvania, they've flown in all over the country. We brought seven students, three adults, because last year's was just so inspiring. When they're in Lakeville, we don't have a whole lot of role models for them. They come down here and they go, wow, look at all these people, look at all these people in college. Uh, look at all these people with doctorates that are telling us what we need to do. Just to be around people that um, look like you, sometimes even think like you, you know, the culture, it's just awesome. People have a misconception that if you're smart, you're trying to act outside of who you really are. That's not the case. No, I want to be educated. The people of my generation, whether male or female, they're the future. That affects my future as well. And it's just a very rewarding observation to see these, these posses of men who are here to make a difference for themselves. There are a number of students who are good academic students that have issues that relate to family, that relate to community, that they are not progressing. Y veces tenemos que uh, conocer mm -hmm. cuando necesitamos ayuda con otras, de, sí, mm -hmm. ese problema. Mm -hmm. Pero usually our parents have like low paying jobs, especially if it's like the first generation, as is in my case, and we have to have a full time job in order to help at home. As I came to where I'm sitting now, and someone reached down and helped me along the way. Someone served as a mentor, someone reached out and said, can you can do this? Fifty years from now, I hope there's no summer. There are a lot of people out there that want you to succeed. You just got to find them. It is an uphill battle. It is not easy, but it's not something that we're going to give up on. Hillsborough Community College is about building community.